Okay, I'm shaking right now. Don't even have the words to explain this to you properly, but my cookbook is here. I am so excited. I cannot tell you this was a dream come true and I never would have been able to do this had it not been for all of you asking for this. So thank you so much for making this dream of mine come true. It means the absolute world to me to get to share my family recipes with you. We worked so hard on this cookbook and I just can't wait to like hand this down to my kids and the fact of thinking about you sharing this with your families just means the world to me. It is available on Amazon. Of course, I will have it linked down in the description box below, but it does, it has everything. There's like fall recipes in here, Christmas recipes in here, Thanksgiving recipes in here, dinners and meals for a year round. So I really <laughs> want you to know this was made with love from me to you. I really hope you enjoy it and be sure if you order one, share it with me on socials, leave a five star review. I know that really, really helps on Amazon, but just thank you so much for your support in making this dream of mine come true. And I hope that you love the cookbook. Brianna and today's video is going to be a huge declutter with me, organize with me. I have so many things on my nesting to-do list. It will be a clean with me, <laughs> little babe. I cannot believe it is going to be here in a month if baby comes on time. We'll see. And I did just want to let you know because I've gotten so many questions about it. We are planning to do a birth vlog and since we don't know the gender, there will be then gender reveal, name reveal. So make sure you have all your notifications turned on because I am also planning to share as soon as I go into labor. So prayers would be very much appreciated then. But just make sure all your notifications are turned on so you don't miss out on any of the baby news. But let's get started. I hope you get a ton of cleaning motivation and decluttering and organizing motivation from today's video. All right, I am sure you have at least one load of laundry to do today, so go get it and do your laundry with me to get started. Just threw in the kids laundry and I realized I never recorded my podcast intro for my podcast this week. So I'm gonna go into my master closet and record that quickly. Fun fact, that's where I record all my podcasts because the acoustics sound the best. So I'm gonna record that fast and then change our sheets in our master bedroom. Today's video is seriously jam-packed with so much good stuff. Just wait until you see the closet declutter, oh my gosh. And there's a ton of freezer meals and smoothie ideas for you. We do huge meal prep. And I do a little newborn haul too, just some of the stuff that I got recently. So there's a lot of motivation for you in this video. We're just gonna get started with a good old clean and tidy of the house. Now, if it is time to change your sheets, do it with me, or at least make sure your bed is made today. It always makes you feel instantly better when your bed is made. I got fresh sheets. Now I can't wait to go to bed. Even though I promise there'll be a lot more motivation in this video. I feel like I just want to go back to bed right now. I'm gonna take these downstairs and have a podcast recommendation for you. I always think it's fascinating to try to understand somebody who is on like the polar opposite 
opinion of you so that you can like be really critically thinking about yourself and why you have certain opinions. So I listened to this podcast called Motive and this most recent season, it it's a, it's like a very dark topic, so don't listen to it in front of your kids, but it's about somebody who joined the like skinhead which eventually became like neo-Nazi white supremacist movement in the United States. And man, it is just, it is. It's like intense to listen to, but I just figured I would recommend it because if you're looking for something to like get your thoughts provoked while you're cleaning, that's been a good one. I'm just curious. When did you know you had feelings? Somehow we've always known that We have chemistry But always chasing after someone else So this took me by surprise oh, yeah. And one thing I do, maybe this seems obvious <laughs> But I definitely haven't done it right sometimes If you put, like if your kids have printed sheets like this If you lay them upside down on their bed Then when you like pull it back that's when you can like do a cute little fold like this. Maybe that's obvious, but I thought I would I need share. to go through Landon's pajamas because I know he's got a lot of short sleeved or like summer pajamas in here. So I wanna get rid of all of those. And I actually have some Christmas pajamas I know from last year that I think will still work. So I've gotta go through all his drawers. Even in my wildest dreams. Oh, yeah. Even in my wildest dreams. I didn't think we were destined to be. And now you're laying next to me. Everything feels like, oh, yeah. When I give you every part of me. I can't believe this is reality. And now you're laying next to me. Everything feels like, oh, yeah. In the family room, I needed to do a good tidy, but I had been wanting to get rid of the toy clutter in here for a while. Most of my kids' toys are kept in our basement. They each have some toy bins in their rooms too, but I know they barely play with anything that was in these bins, so it was time to do a purge, get rid of the clutter, especially since it's right in eyesight when you're sitting on the couch. So it felt really good to do a good toy purge in here. It's on my nesting list to do our basement before baby comes, and especially before the holidays. So let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a toy declutter video down in the comments. But I ended up going from two baskets to one in here. So it definitely helped clear up this space. Now let's do a quick dusting together, grab your microfiber cloth and multi-surface cleaner and clean with me. I'm gonna try to put together some smoothies that I can have pre-made for postpartum after baby. 
I got this idea because I really love Daily Harvest smoothies. Honestly, I was thinking I was just going to place an order for after the baby comes. And Adam got us a new like deep freezer for out in the garage, which I am so excited to be able to store milk and stuff out there too. But I know this is probably a much more cost effective way to make some smoothies. So I got a bunch of fresh fruit that was on sale this week at the store. Some like raspberries, blueberries, strawberries. I had some leftover frozen cranberries and I had some frozen mango from some other recipes that I've gotten. And I got bananas and avocados. And I'm just gonna make a couple different varieties of smoothies and Sharpie all right on these. I'll link these by the way, they were on Amazon. And they just have like little covers. You can like use these for soup and chili or cookie dough, but I'm gonna make them for smoothies. And then when I go to make the smoothie postpartum, I just have to add my juice or my milk or I could add yogurt and whatever kind of like protein oh powder. I was also looking up like fenugreek oh powder was recommended. Yeah. Somebody tell me if you've ever done that to your smoothies when you're oh nursing, that it's supposed to help you increase oh your milk supply. But let's get started making some smoothies here. And when you go to make these smoothies, you can just fill the storage cup up when the frozen fruit is still in there with the liquid of your choice. You can use milk, juice, water, lemonade, and then dump all of it into the blender. And then at that point is when you would add any sort of powders, syrup, seeds that you like before you blend. So you could add protein powder, collagen, agave, flaxseed, fenugreek powder. You can also you know, add a scoop of peanut butter or chocolate chips or whatever you would like to flavor your smoothie. So here are the final smoothies before I put them in the deep freezer out here. But I have mango banana avocado, berry banana, avocado blueberry banana, strawberry banana mango, and then I have a cran raspberry and a berry mango. Now there's a ton more meal prep coming up, but before I work on those other freezer meals, Presley was my little laundry helper on this day. She loves to help turn clothes inside out to outside out, as she says. <laughs> it's seriously the cutest. share some sort of a newborn must-haves which I think I'm gonna do a blog post sorry my heartburn I'm gonna do a blog post that I have like everything that I got for baby but a couple of things came in the mail today so I just figured I would do like a fast baby haul of some of this stuff because I'm literally so excited I did a hospital bag video so if you want to see everything like I'm packing in my hospital bag check out that video but <laughs> I'm gonna have to add this to it because baby be mine I have always worn a Baby Be Mine gownie when I had Landon and Presley. 
and for some reason it completely blanked and they sent me an Instagram DM this was so nice of you and so I figured since this time like Lana's was a blue polka dot Prezi's was a pink polka dot so this time I'm like oh what do you have that's gender neutral and I thought this was so cute since it's black and white and I love that it has that little like wine colored trim on it so I have to wash this now and add it to my hospital bag but then look what they sent. These are so cute. Here, let me take the little, like little thing, point it together. It's the labor socks. And I don't know if you can see it. It's like keep calm and push. And they have little pom-poms on them. They are so cute. This was so kind of you to send this. So thank you so much. I'll link Baby Be Mine because seriously, I, I love them. I've always gotten their gowny. I've always gotten like a pillowcase cover <laughs> to have too. So this is perfect. I cannot wait to wear this when I have a little babe. So thank you kindly. And then this also came in the mail today. I never had one of these with my other two, but I decided to try the Moby Wrap. A lot of other mamas recommended this. I got it in the almond color. So it's like a very, I don't know if you can see it. I think it's the one that's on the package, but it's like a very like neutral beigey cream kind of color. So I'm excited to try this for baby. And then I have to decide what I actually want because I got a couple of other contraptions because I just know like this baby, I'm probably going to have to wear this baby all the time to be like chasing after my other two kids. So I got this one. Which one was this called? The Colugo. It had the best reviews on Target and I'm not going to lie, like the leopard print really sucked me in and it just seemed really versatile and like the fact that you could like wear it out and about the fact that there was like zippers and stuff like that I just I really liked this one but Art of Pop I've seen so I think I'm saying that correctly um and how like cool is the box um but I've seen so many other people with these Art of Pop carriers and say that they're so comfortable I have to say the fabric seems like really high quality um but yeah so <laughs> I went with like a neutral leopard sort of a color for this one too. So we'll see. I'm going to test them both out and I'll have to tell you which one I think is actually then better for the baby. And I got the Snoo. This is what the Snoo sack. So this is one of their swaddle sacks um, just to try out. And we did order the Snoo. It just hasn't come yet. So that will be on the to-do list for putting together. And... I splurged on this because so many mamas have just, honestly, like they've almost shared horror stories of like, if I didn't have this, I don't know what would have happened. And I was just like, okay, like I'm just going to invest in this. And the fact it came with the video monitor too. So it's kind of like a two in one. So it's this sock that monitors baby, like sleeping, breathing, all of that, plus the video monitor. And you can see it on your phone. So I was just like, all right, we're gonna, invest in this so that just came today and this snuggle me organic so many of you recommended on instagram when i asked about this so i got one of those i had um a daca top with presley and when our cousins had a baby i gave it to them so i needed another one of those and this was new my kids never had anything quite like this like they had the little gym things which we still have some of that stuff that's actually like next on my to-do list is like pull everything out this weekend and kind of go through all that stuff and clean it all but this is like a tummy time play mat and i always feel like my kids had a really hard time with tummy time like they love the gyms and like looking up and pulling on things and the kick and play piano but they hated tummy time so I'm going to try this because it has like the mirror and it has more stuff where they're kind of like propped up on their belly a little bit, stuff they can reach and grab. So I decided to give it a try this time, see if that works. And what else do I have behind me? Um, I already shared, I know in another video, but I am so freaking excited for this LV pump to have like a hands-free pump. Um, I'll just mention my code. It was Brianna K15, so you get 15% off if you want to try the LV pump too. My girlfriend, when we just had a bonfire, she has an LV pump, and she was literally pumping at the like socially distanced bonfire that we had, and I couldn't even hear the pump going. Like it was amazing, and she was like, "You are going to love it." And I'm like, "I'm so excited." Um, I did get this is the Baby Breza bottle warmer. Where's like the bottom of it? <laughs> you can see what it looks like. I guess here. 
Um, my girlfriend, Bridget, recommended this to me because I know she started breastfeeding, but she switched to formula rather quickly. And you just never know. And I feel like occasionally we would give the kids formula too and we were just trying to get them to like sleep longer stretches through the night. So I got this bottle warmer because I don't know if we gave away our old one or if it like stopped working. Cause I know we had it for the first two, but we don't have it anymore. And then I needed a humidifier in here. This is one of the things I hadn't gotten yet when I like set up the nursery. So I got the Frida baby humidifier for this round. So I will link everything. And I'm also, please be on the lookout, go check my blog because that's where I want to do like a everything like newborn must-haves that you've got to have for a baby. So it will be over there on the blog. I have also been trying to do some quick declutter organizing projects just so it doesn't get too overwhelming. And under the sink is always a great place that doesn't take too long. I love using shower clips from the Dollar Tree as a way to hang gloves. You could also hang dish towels. And I have just a few bins under here. And what I try to do is just keep the basics of what I really need for cleaning up the kitchen so that it doesn't get too cluttered. We move all over, light up every corner, dancing, smoking, plain sight. But okay, this closet in our foyer has been way overdue for a declutter. There were so many shoes and coats that the kids had outgrown in here and so many shoes that were just thrown in. So I had Adam take off the doors so that I could pull everything out and really tackle this. I would highly recommend that if you have a really messy space, sometimes you just need to pull everything out and be really intentional about what you put back in and make sure you're actually going to use it. If not, donate it. Oh my God, this is <laughs> such a disaster. Huh, Coley? This was so overdue, oh my gosh. And now I'm going to clean up the kitchen from dinner before I do the rest of my meal prep. I feel like it's way easier to do meal prep at night after the kids are in bed, just so that I can knock it all out without interruptions. But I looked up foods that are really good for healing your body postpartum. And I picked these freezer recipes that incorporated all of those foods because you need a lot of protein for postpartum recovery. Sweet potatoes are really good for you. Beans are really good for you. And of course, these recipes are also still really yummy if you aren't postpartum, but that's what I was keeping in mind for making these. And I will have all of these recipes on my blog for you as well, so you can go check them out after this video. And if you are actually in my cookbook too. <laughs> so the first recipe is sweet potato pancakes. I love making freezer pancakes for the kids just to make mornings a little bit easier. And this recipe makes a lot of pancakes. So to me, it's worth just knocking it all out, making them all, freezing them. So the first thing you wanna do is peel the skin off your two sweet potatoes, I got really big ones, and then chop them into cubes and boil the cubes on the stove so that they get nice and soft so that you're able to puree them. 
and I'm gonna use my blender for this. So I put the potatoes in and add in three eggs, two cups of milk, and teaspoon of vanilla and blend all of this up. And then I add in the dry ingredients. So two cups flour, two teaspoons baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, two tablespoons brown sugar, a teaspoon of kosher salt, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground nut meg, and then mix that all together. And then I just cook this on the griddle, just like normal pancakes, until they're browned on both sides. And I let these cool all the way. Some people have said, oh, my pancakes are sticking. Let them cool fully before you put them in the freezer bag. And then it's a lot easier that when you make them, you can just take out the desired amount of pancakes that you want, microwave them for a minute, and it's so easy. And these, honestly, you can serve them with like butter and maple syrup, but I like to eat them plain. Like I think they taste so good. So these are just kind of like a nice, easy, fast breakfast or snack, especially in those like newborn weeks. The next recipe is beyond easy. You just need to chop up two sweet potatoes. I left the skins on mine. Cut up a pound of chicken into one inch cubes. And then I just divided this up into two different freezer bags. And I added a tablespoon of chopped garlic to each, drizzled some olive oil inside of the bag, and then seasoned with salt, pepper, Old Bay. I would say about half a tablespoon, and then about a tablespoon of parsley and then seal the bags, make sure they're fully sealed and then shake them up so that that olive oil and seasoning coats everything and then push the bag flat. So it's a lot easier to store in the freezer that way. And then when you go to make these, you can let this defrost in the fridge, the bag, and then add to a sheet pan and you can throw in any other veggies that you happen to have on hand, maybe some onion, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, carrots, and you can just drizzle with olive oil and then bake at 350 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour until golden brown. And then this chicken quesadilla soup recipe is actually in my cookbook, but it is so easy to make in an instant pot and it's so yummy. And you can use those same containers that I use for the smoothies to store these in individual servings. And then it's really easy. You can just take out one or two a week or you know however many you're gonna have for lunches. And at the same time I was prepping the soup, I was prepping for my rainbow chili, which is another recipe I have in my cookbook. Again, it's linked down below. But these are really great for any time, but especially postpartum because they're high protein, have a lot of beans and veggies in them. I'm looking in your eyes, wish you could see the things I see. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving. And then the last two recipes I was making as part of this meal prep was mini meatloafs and meatballs. Again, I was trying to make really high protein options. So the meatloaf muffins are really great because you don't have to reheat them all at once. You can reheat them individually as you need to. But to make them, grease your 12 cup muffin pan and then you take half a white onion chopped and two tablespoons garlic and cook these in a pan until they're nice and browned and soft. And then in a large mixing bowl, add in the onion and garlic that's cooked and then one pound ground beef, half a cup of breadcrumbs. I use panko breadcrumbs for this. An egg, half a cup of ketchup, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, half a tablespoon oregano and half a tablespoon thyme and then salt and pepper to season it and then just mix all of that together and you're going to divide it essentially into 12 muffin cups and then bake these at 350 degrees for 20 minutes and then take them out top with ketchup and then bake for another 10 minutes at 350 degrees and then make sure they're cooled completely i used one of these silver storage pans and then to reheat you can defrost you know, as many as you wanna take out of the freezer container that you're gonna need and just bake them at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Yeah. 
And then the freezer meatballs are another super easy meal to prep. Just take half a chopped red onion, an egg, a pound of ground beef, tablespoon of chopped garlic, half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, and then put in a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and just mix all that together. Form them into one inch size meatballs, and then you can bake these on a greased baking sheet at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. Let these cool fully and then place them in your freezer container. And I just pour a jar of red tomato sauce over the top of the meatballs and freeze these. And then to reheat, you can defrost this in the fridge and then bake at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. And you have meatballs you can eat alone. You can put them on bread for a meatball sub or serve with pasta for pasta and meatballs. And I use these tin foil trays. I will link them. Um, I feel like they work really well for larger freezer meal recipes. I also have some lasagnas that I've made in these. And I just make sure to label whatever something is right on the top. And you can also put the directions too if like somebody else is gonna be making these, right? Or if like you're giving it to somebody else. But I love these and I love the individual containers for the soup and chili and I will link all of them. I got everything on Amazon. But I hope you got lots of cleaning motivation, declutter inspo, and freezer meal prep ideas from this video. Be sure to click the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and turn on all of your notifications so you don't miss anything that's coming up next. I cannot believe the baby will be here soon. The Christmas clean and decorate with me videos are coming soon too. Some of my favorites to make. And don't forget, check out the cookbook. I have it linked down below for you, but I will see you in the next video. Bye loves.